Hey guys and welcome back. Just thought I'd make this quick little video about installing one of Ned's hydraulic clutch kits for the Kawasaki triples. Uh, here you can see uh, the slave cylinder. I've got the, the hydraulic line coming up already routed going up to the Magura 9.5 millimeter master cylinder. All the parts that you'll need, I'll include the link for that in, in the description below. So first up you've got this beautifully machined slave cylinder that was uh, designed and built by Ned on the Kawasaki Triples Canada page. Uh, it includes the, um, the housing, the piston, uh, the cup seal which I've already installed and the two bolts to, to uh, that mounted onto the side of the case. For the massive cylinder, as I've already mentioned, I used the nine and a half inch Magura cylinder. These are readily available on eBay. This is a beautiful little kit. It comes with a nice flat black, so it's nice and discreet. It doesn't have the big rotary reservoir that uh, a lot of other kits have. And I've also picked up the optional mirror mount. As far as routing the hoses go, it's pretty tricky because depending on what type of handlebar setup you have, whether you have original bars, low motor cross bars like mine, clubmans, etc, etc, uh, your length of hose is going to vary. And uh, it's, very, it's very important to get the right length hose, um, just so it doesn't bind up on all. So in order to get the right hose, what I did first, which was recommended to me by another member on the Canadian board, was to route it using a piece of uh, rubber hose. I basically installed the master cylinder along with the slave cylinder and all the fittings but using the hose plug it onto your fitting route it through your frame under your tank however you see fit and you'll have it come out and connect to the other end and basically I just measured it up fit it crank burrs back and forth checked Check the length, check any any rub points up on the handlebars, any points of interference, etc. Uh, and then I cut my length. So once I got the hose measured and, and cut the length, I ordered the the actual hydraulic line that I'm going to be using. I got a real nice black one here that most resembles a original factory look, and it also came with a nice swivel heads, which helps uh, eliminate most of the binding and the cable while you're, you're tightening up all the fixtures or fittings, sorry. Now because the piston on the slave cylinder is not exposed to any oils or any other lubricant, it's recommended to grease it up first with a uh, silicone based brake uh, lubricant. Uh, before you do this, make sure that it's compatible with rubber as it could um, affect the cup seal that's inside. So unlike bleeding uh, the brakes on your car or, or bike, um, Ned actually recommends injecting the fluid up through the bleed screw as opposed to filling it from the master and then bleeding it out the bottom. So I've picked myself up a syringe, I've got the recommended DOT5 brake fluid that I'm going to use which is both compatible with the seals that are inside the master cylinder as well as the rubber cup seal in the slave cylinder here so please make sure you use DOT5. It was also recommended to inject it very slowly because the DOT5 brake fluid has a tendency to get really frothy. So as you can see here I've got the syringe full of the DOT5 brake fluid inserted into the bleed hole and I'm going to slowly start to inject it into the system. Another thing to be watch, watch out for is make sure that your cylinder doesn't pop out too far. It was recommended to allow it to come out about an eighth of an inch and then just pump it in and keep injecting as it comes out a little bit further, pump it back in. As you can see here, I've put in about uh, was it 5, 10, 15, almost 20 uh, milliliters and it's already starting to come out the top. I'm now going to push it in. And if you look up top, we're filling up beautifully. Let's try it out, shall we? It works!
really happy with this product. I mean, I just can't believe it. I know a few guys are running it already, and they're they're more than happy. I can't wait to try it on the street. The lever pulls really, really nice. I mean, even one finger. Just well, there you have it, guys. Ned's hydraulic clutch kit installed and working. Um, I'll leave a link below to a PDF that has all of the fittings and everything you'll need to install the kit as well as instructions. Um, the work instruction is just a compilation of information I've gathered from various threads I've read on the project. One last thing I should mention is since the hydraulic line doesn't come up the usual clutch cable uh, hole in the cases, unfortunately you will have to notch either your frame or your sprocket cover depending how you've got the cable routed. That's the only downfall to having a hydraulic clutch as far as I know. However, once the carburetors and everything are installed, you really can't see it at all and it still maintains a great factory look. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Click subscribe, check out my other content, and uh, as always, ride safe guys.